Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to let you know about the Disney Access materials. I don't know if they came up with that term or maybe if I just made it up. If I made it up, that's very clever. Um, but a lot of people have asked about magic bands and I wanted to kind of give you an update on those because Disney's kind of like phasing them out or rather they're making them not required. So starting at the beginning of 2021, they no longer are offering magic bands for free. If you have a Walt Disney World hotel reservation, you can purchase them at a discounted rate through My Disney Experience. Additionally, you can purchase them for full price on shopdisney.com, um, one of the few available Disney stores that are left. I believe they still have them there. Um, you can purchase them on site as well. If you purchase them not from My Disney Experience, there will be a number on the back and you need to link that to your account, to your reservation, to your My Disney Experience account, and then you'll be able to use it for everything. Now, if you want to use your Magic Bands to charge things to your room so that you don't have to pay with cash or card, you need to set up charging privileges ahead of time and you can do that at your resort front desk or you can do that if you do online check-in. You need to enter a four digit pin code and then you'll be able to charge. So magic bands, I mean, people have known what they are for a long time, right? They're like the waterproof, rubbery, silicone, I'm not actually sure what they're made of, um, band. They have an RFID chip in it, and then you hold it up to various points into your, to unlock your room door, to open um, the gate, to enter the parking lot of your hotel, to enter parks, a whole bunch of stuff. So now with using more mobile services, Disney's offering a couple of other options. When they discontinued the free Magic Bands, they also offered a Key to the World card, which is something they had a very long time ago. And it's just a traditional credit card style, um, like room key. And it can be used for the same things as Magic Bands. The difference is they're free. You pick them up at your hotel upon arrival at your front desk. Um, but you need to like obviously put it in your pocket or in your wallet or something rather than having a magic band which you don't have to touch. Personally, I'm liking the idea of the magic band at least during the pandemic because just less things to touch, I think. Um, I think that just personally, I just think that makes sense and I think they look cool and I have a lot of them. Um, so with magic bands and with the key to the world card, my understanding is they can be used for all of the same things. Um, and each guest needs their own. Each guest ages three and up needs their own because they have a ticket. So you can't share. And I wanna make sure. Yes, okay. So I have this document that I send out to my clients explaining what a magic band, a key to the world card, the My Disney Experience app with no magic mobile, and the My Disney Experience app with Magic Mobile, which each of those things do. And if they're free, if you have to pay for them, if you can share them, if you can't. Um, but again, Magic Band you pay for ahead of time. Key to the World card is free. Regardless, everybody who is old enough to need a ticket, ages three and up, you need your own for both of those. And something else I wanted to mention, you can reuse your Magic Bands from a previous stay um, the only difference is if the battery in it is dead, the automatic linking might not work of videos and pictures if you have Memory Maker, um, which means you would just have to go up and like tap it under the screen they have at the end of the ride to get them to link. But if the battery works, it will automatically link because of the RFID technology. But you can still get into the park and into your room if the battery is dead because that's not something that requires the use of the battery, I guess. Right, it's like a chip on your credit card. There you go. So, unlocking a room door, provide access to the hotel parking lot. Like I said, park access, you have to have your tickets, obviously, and it needs to be linked to your reservation. Um, it will grant Lightning Lane access. See my previous video regarding that. Um, grant access to dining plan credits, if and when the dining plans come back. Allow room charging, if you set that up in advance. Um, each need your own. You can use them to redeem virtual queue boarding groups. So those things are for the Magic Band and the Key to the World card. Also, I wanted to mention, either of those things, you need to have an advance. You can't show up to a park and not have everything, like not have your Magic, everybody has a Magic Band or Key to the World card and have them be linked to your My Disney Experience account. You can't just show them your tickets on your My Disney Experience app if you don't have mobile magic. 
they won't let you in and that's not something that can be taken care of there. So that has to be done um, at least at your resort if you have the key to the world cards. Moving on to Magic Mobile, that is also within the My Disney Experience app. So Magic Mobile, again, is free and it is available to people who have an iPhone, an Apple Watch, or a Google Pay enabled Android phone. So those are the people that can currently use Magic Mobile. And essentially it is allowing you to turn your phone into a magic band. So you can use your phone then if you have Magic Mobile, you can use that to do many things that a magic band can do. And a big difference here is this can be shared. You do not need to have, like your three-year-old doesn't need their, old, their own iPhone in order to do this. Um, so you're gonna create a digital pass in your My Disney Experience account and you, hang on, I don't, I need to use the right words. You create a digital pass in My Disney Experience and link it to your reservation. Um, let's see, what is Magic Mobile able to do? It is able to enter theme parks with valid park admission and reservation, connect Disney Photo Pass images to your account if you have Memory Maker, gain access to join a virtual queue and charge if you have the charging priv privileges set up to your hotel room. Um, and it says to use, you first need to link your reservation to your My Disney Experience account. Then from the app, you create the Disney Magic Mobile Pass. You choose your pass style and add it to your digital wallet. You can then follow the steps within the app to create digital passes for everybody else that is going to be sharing the same phone or Apple Watch or whatever, whatever you're using. I wonder if you could use like an iPad. I'm sure you could. Well, I don't think an iPad has an NFC chip in it, so I don't think you could. I was really looking forward to seeing somebody like holding yeah, their iPad. IPad. <laughs> yes. Really looking forward to that. Darn it. <laughs> so that is what Magic Mobile is. Now, if you just have the My Disney Experience app without Magic Mobile, so you don't have the Google Pay enabled Android phone and you don't have an Apple device, that means your phone is only going to have the My Disney Experience app, which means you cannot just show up to the park with that and be like, is this good enough? Can you let me in? They will say no. Um, all the My Disney Experience app without Magic Mobile can do is it can unlock your room door. It cannot give you access to your hotel parking lot or park access. It will not give you lightning lane access. It will not give you access to your dining plan credits when that is reinstated. Um, that does not link pictures and videos to your My Disney Experience account. If you have Memory Maker, um, let's see. You can share it among guests for the few things that it does do, like unlocking your room door. I mean, that doesn't really make a difference, but, oh, and you, it can be used to redeem um, virtual boarding groups. We've been doing that for a while for Millennium Falcon, no, Rise of the Resistance, um, but that has since been suspended and now it's only gonna be used for Ratatouille, Remy's Ratatouille adventure in the short term. Um, but you can still use it to make and modify dining reservations and make lightning lane, lightning pass reservations, but you can't use it to redeem if that makes sense. So I know it's very confusing. Hopefully this gives you like a little bit of info. Like I said, I send out, I just actually modified this today. I send out this PDF explaining the difference between the magic bands and the key to the world card and the My Disney Experience app with and without Magic Mobile. I send that to my clients because I can't keep it straight and I go to Disney quite a bit, so I'm sure other people have the same problem as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Hopefully it answered a couple of your questions about do we all need magic bands? Do we all need iPhones? What do we need to go to Disney to get our tickets? I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.